Hello everybody, it's Joe and the Computer Scientist here, and this week was my first week of Calculus 2 and Linear Algebra. So prior to class starting, I was extremely nervous, and for a good reason. I suck at math. I am really, really bad at math, and I was trying to study math during the winter break while I was taking my winter course so I didn't have to take that class that I didn't really need. And I thought I was gonna actually prevail this time. And so far, I'm just doing okay. Okay as in I have an 86 in linear algebra at the moment and I have a 100% in calculus too, but it's only one homework that's in there. So that's what that 100% is. My goal is obviously to pass, but I'm 0.6 points away from getting a 3.0 GPA. So my goal is to actually get a B or better, but I'm shooting for an A because if I shoot for a B, I'm gonna get a C. So if I shoot for an A, I'm gonna get a B. That's how logic works. My first day of class in linear algebra, honestly, it was very boring, but I was there and I was I was staying up the entire time, bored, and I was I, I learned a little, a little something. We went over systems of linear equations and that was kind of review but I also kind of forgot. So I had to go over it again watching Organic Chemistry Tutor, which isn't a big problem to be honest. Nevertheless, I'm caught up right now and I'm feeling pretty okay. But yesterday I had to go to the doctor and my appointment was at two, class starts at four. I was at the doctor for three hours. So I was an hour late to class and kind of got a zero on an assignment, but nevertheless, still got an 86. I'm just gonna make sure it never happens again because I do not wanna keep taking classes over and over and over again. I'm just happy I'm still in the Bs, but I'm trying to get that back to an A. I have homework due on Sunday and I'm gonna knock that out. I'm gonna be perfect, hopefully. I'm just gonna keep practicing on stuff that's not even homework just to get the practice in. So when the test comes, the grade shoots up even more. I wanna be good, so by the time the final comes, no matter how nervous I am, I can get a zero and still pass. That's the goal. Calculus two on the other hand, that was my scary class, and I didn't miss anything in there, and so far I'm doing pretty good. I have to say, I'm pretty up to date with everything that I'm learning. The first day was use substitution, and I remember doing pretty okay in use substitution last semester, but I started studying it like, the week the test was going to happen. So now I learned from my mistake. I'm studying now. I'm doing extra problems now. I'm doing everything that we learn now and the day of uh, learning it and then just constantly repeating. And I'm switching between linear algebra and calculus too. I'm really trying to balance the two and YouTube. I'm gonna be honest, I am gonna to continue to code, but I don't know how, not often, but efficient the videos are going to be just because i really am focused on math right now after all this channel isn't just jordan the computer scientist i'm all about coding it's jordan the computer scientist i'm a computer science student trying to get a computer science degree so that's everything that goes along with it so either way i'm still on topic with my channel which is the reason i made this channel was to constantly talk to you guys and have you guys or in, you don't even have to actually do it but have this youtube channel hold me accountable because i really don't want to make another video telling you guys that i failed again because that's not good content i want you guys to look at the video of me failing and then look at me after passing and then think to yourself wow he did it he didn't think he could do it and he put his mind to it and he actually tried and he did it so that means that i can do it i want to inspire you guys because honestly I don't think I'm the sharpest tool in the shed at all by any means. So if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm showing you guys right now that I'm at the bottom, kind of. If I would've made this YouTube channel when I actually first went back to college and I was in like a developmental class, then whew, I would've really been at the bottom. And then I would've seen my progression all the way to calculus too. And to even say that I'm in calculus too is a really big accomplishment for me because math, really is not my strong suit. I don't know how I pass calculus. Derivatives aren't as hard as I thought they were gonna be, and that's good. I passed calculus with a C though. And going back over calculus in calculus two was just going over derivatives, which was a good little refresher, but trigonometry, 
I went over trigonometry again, so I wouldn't have trouble this time, but obviously I have to practice more because yeah. I just have to continue practicing because my pre-calculus teacher two, three semesters ago told me that the only way to get better at math is to keep practicing. Also, everyone on subreddit keeps saying that, you know, just keep practicing. If you keep practicing, you'll get good at it because no one's born good at math. I think people are born comprehending stuff faster, but no one's born good at math. This semester has honestly been my most productive semester as a student. Prior to my YouTube channel, I'm gonna be completely honest, completely transparent. I wasn't the best student. Homework would get done either a couple hours before or during the day before it's due at night, if it's like a project or something. I would get introduced to a subject and not go over it again until it's time for a test. I took time for granted. Like I really took time for granted. Like there would be a time where I had nothing to do. And what did I do? I played video games. But starting this YouTube channel was actually changing my behavior in my habits. So um, I'm gonna try this like new thing that I'm gonna mention in my next video or maybe in a video in like a week and a half. Um, it's slowly like bettering myself in order to learn better, in order to use my time more wisely, and in order to actually pass math and get my associate's degree. So that's every other class after math also. I have homework due on the 26th, which is a Monday. Today is Friday. It's also my girlfriend's birthday. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Her link is gonna be in the description. She's a great person. I'm gonna be practicing math again tomorrow night and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm probably gonna to try to knock out as much homework as possible. And then I wanna to get to the part where it's not homework and I'm just doing problems for practice. Because once that happens, that means that I really am committed. And then after my first test, I really, really hope that I pass. That's, that's like the deciding factor. Like if I pass the first test, then that means that I'm going up in the right direction because Usually the first test is like the groundbreaker. And I usually get like 70 on the first test, maybe an 80, and then it just starts to go downhill. That's what happened last semester. But it's a new semester, it's a new attitude, it's a new year, it's a new me. Let's get these A's, let's learn code, let's learn web development, let's learn JavaScript, let's learn integrals, the area under the curve, let's learn all of it. We're gonna, we're gonna pass and everyone is going to be successful, not just me. I'm trying to inspire you guys to also be successful. Thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord. The link is gonna be in the description and follow me on both of my social medias. It's Jordan the CS on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. I'm a goat, no, I'm really vicious. Got hands turning when I get the spitting. Since 16, I've been making greatness. Bag and bag girls when they start to listen. Been great, so you must have missed it. Creative genius, friends are leaving.